Hey, this is Todd from NC Solar Electric and I'm gonna show you what I've been up to. So I've got the new charge verter, uh, five kilowatt battery charger, 48 volts from EG4. That's all set up. Um, I did have the same problem other people have complained about in that in shipping the modules get knocked loose inside and you don't have to take it apart to fix it. If you look in there, it's hard to see, but you can see the two modules over here on this side and if, over here on this side. And if you just take a butter knife and don't plug it in, but just take the butter knife and just push on the modules from this side, uh, you can push them back in without taking it apart very easily. So I thought when it was programmable that it could be programmed for a timer as well, what time of day, but it can't. It just, the only programmability is voltage and current, that's it. Well, that's all you can do. Um, so right now it's off because I'm waiting till my other uh, end phase battery charges up over there. And that's my point, is I didn't want this thing to run all the time. And I wanna use the power at night, I don't wanna be charging at night. So I hooked up this timer. So you see, I plugged in my charge verter and I got my timer. So now it'll come on around 11 a.m. and shut off like around 6 p.m. And that way it just runs during the day when there's sun. And uh, over here, I have the power came in. This used to be for my Tesla when I had a Tesla. And uh, now it's just coming in here to the charger. I put the, you know, this is 10-3 tray cable, same as I use with my microinverters, and just run into a plug. And then this one is for my battery energy time shifting box. This is an EG4 enclosure. And in here, I have an EG4 Life Power 4 battery. And then in here, I have four Power Queen 100 ampere, uh, 50 ampere hour batteries. <clears throat> so it's about seven and a half kilowatt hours. And then these are my 10 amp breakers that feed my modules over here. And these are boards that I have that limit the current from the battery to just under 12 amps. And then that feeds into my two Hoy Miles microinverters back there and they feed the grid. And I have them set for zero export. So they don't actually feed the grid. They only feed the loads tied to the grid. Now it, will, it won't operate off grid on its own. So this is just for time shifting. I have tested it running in parallel with my Enphase IQ Battery 3T, but it's not, um, it works fine. Once you get the 3T up and running, you can add these to it. But if you transfer over from grid to battery, the Enphase system drops the Hoy Miles inverters. So they're not there to support the load when it switches over. So to keep my Enphase system separate, I just have these hooked up now to um, my main panel supporting the main loads with zero export. And it works great every night. It, it lasts, the battery lasts just about all night. And um, I need to add more batteries and more microinverters so I can get this thing up to power. This is my AC breaker. This is the relay that turns the microinverters on and off. Here's my Hoy Miles connector cable. And there's two of them in there actually. Go back to the inverters and then these are my um mc4 connectors going back to the micro inverters and these are the power coming in from the batteries that's it that's all she wrote hey so this is todd have a great day don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a message comments are always welcome and if you need help designing your own do-it-yourself solar system just give me a call I'm happy to help, 877-58-SOLAR. I can do plan sets, provide panels, racking, parts, whatever you need. Just somebody to talk to. Have a great day. I'm, I'm the guy that you can call for help where the other guys don't have to. Take care.